Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to see about timers. So what is timer? So timer is used to create a time delay between the operation or activate and deactivate a device after a preset interval of time. You can set the time for some particular operation. Let's take an example of a washing machine where we can uh, give the spin option. Right. So for that spin operation, we can set a time like 7 minutes, 10 minutes like that we can set. That is for the complete operation. And what is this activate and deactivate? Like after some time, this need to on or this need to off. Like that also we can create a time like how we are keeping an alarm in our uh, you know, mobile. After some time, it will be giving some alarm, right? So that is also like activating the alarm. After some time delay, it is activating the alarm or deactivating some process. So this is the use of timer. This is actually the timer. So what is the time delay means? We can call this as preset, right? So this is a preset. Preset is like how we ha I have mentioned for the spin operation, uh, there is a 7 minutes. So that 7 minutes is the preset interval. So how long you want to create a time delay? That is a preset value, right? And we are having three types of timers. One is on delay timer. Another one is off delay timer. The third one is return to timer. So before getting into the timers, you need to know some timer parameters. I mean specification. Let's see what is that. The first one is timer number. So timer number is nothing but a timer address. So all the timers, maybe we may in need of some three to four timers in our project means how we are going to differentiate the timers by using the timer number. You can start the timer number from zero and up to 256. 256 timers you can make use of uh, in, a, you know, in a project you can maximum you can use 256 timers. That is will be starting from like T4 colon zero to T4 colon 255 in Alan Bradley, right? So the next one is preset value as we have discussed already what is this preset value right. How long you want to create a time delay that is preset value and we are having an accumulator value. So accumulator value is like the running value right. So take the example washing machine you have turned on the spin operation so it is started with a 0 minute right 0 1 2 3 like that it is increasing at or it may be decreasing also seven six like that countdown also it will happen a count up also it will happen right so that counting value or the running value is stored in the accumulator right and the fourth one is a time base so how we are going to st start counting like whether it is in a seconds or whether it is in a millisecond so it depends so timer uh, alan bradley is having a time base option so time base is, uh, you know, related to the resolution of the timer, right? And the last one is enable bit, done bit and timer timing bit. So these three bits are available in Allen Bradley. So enable bit is like whenever your run condition goes on, your enable bit will also be on. Okay. So done bit is like whenever your done function is done. I mean, your function is done, that time this bit will be on. Right. For example, the spin operation is completely done. The after 7 minutes, done bit will be on. And enable bit will be on for the 0th minute until your run condition. Until you turn off your main supply, enable bit will be in the on condition only. And what is this timer timing bit? It is like, it will start at, start at the 0th, first second till the 7th minute. So, it is like a running, no? The running seconds are displayed by using the timer timing bit if the timer timing bit is on we can get to know the timer is running right so that we can get to know from timer timing bit so that's it about this session in the next session we'll see how to use the on delay timer and what is the practical example we can relate with the on delay timer and uh, how to use that in a software yeah i'll meet you in the next session with another timer topic right thank you